This is the outside of 52 Sawmill Run Road of a two car garage with ample parking um, in this area. Note that it's also been black topped, asphalted off, which is very nice. Um, the landscaping's nice. South facing sun, absolutely, as well as some west facing views as well. I don't know if I can capture them, but in the distance, I'm looking at part of peak eight and seven. So we are now at 52 Sawmill Run Road. This home is four bedroom, two full bath, two three quarter bath, 3,021 square feet, listed at 1.69. This is on the same street as a couple of others that I videoed for you. Past this fireplace, out in the two great windows, you will see some of Peak 7 and 8, a lot of west-facing and south-facing sun from the windows. Um, I can kind of start off saying this is being sold fully furnished. Here is your kind of living area number one. Kind of very nicely appointed throughout the whole home. Um, things like the floors, the hardwood's in very good condition. The tile is great. Kind of leads you into one dining area. A lot of windows, a lot of sun. down the hallway into a second living area. Um, pool table, another fireplace, um, leather couches. Um, I don't know how well the video does it, but the floors are in pretty immaculate condition. Um, so here's the second living area kind of space with pool table and a little bar back around this fireplace. Nice two-car garage with storage, laundry facility, a couple of locked closets over there. Another fridge, another microwave. Some this has been rented, so there's some owner storage that's locked up, but this would be the mud room coming from another entrance, not the main entrance to the house, but the small entrance beside the garage. And it's not as yellow as it made it look, the light fixtures. I actually covered with something a little yellow that gives it that. It's painted yellow, but it's not as yellow as it looked. So this kind of mudroom entry storage. We will go back through the garage. Um, on this main level is one of the three-quarter bath. Very nice tile floor, tile shower, 
nice vanity area. And this is the only bedroom on the first floor. Closets there. Large hutch. Television in there. And another bathroom. This is another one of the three quarter bathrooms. Similar tile, very nice. Everything about this home is actually very nice that I've seen. Another view of this. Staying on the main floor, we're in the breakfast room and our breakfast little nook outside. That's a little fire pit, storage shed, hot tub. I'm not sure if the TP is on this property. There's some phone calls I'll need to make. But since the furniture is included, it may be nice to note that it is nice furniture. Single oven, microwave, granite countertops. Cabinets are dark in here, but it's a lot of natural light coming in. It looks really good. Five burner gas. Back into the dining. Another area looking west and south. Some of the features of the stair railing. Nicely done. Large log, center post, nice coat closet storage area, the stairs, again tile and hardwood kind of stairs working together, um, looks very good together. Landing, overlooking. So we'll come into one of the guest bedrooms. One of the full bathrooms here. A different kind of tile here, but looks Looks very nice. And a good size closet. Goes around there a little bit. This is a large guest bedroom. You can see how they've configured it. Three singles. The other bathroom. Nice granite. It's a little on the small side, but it works. Uh, the shower's been done nicely with granite as well. And a nice large closet. A lot of light in there so it's dark. Another roll away bed. This kind of comes into what 
what should be considered the master. A very large room. Some window seating into the bath. Jetted tub area. This, some sort of an owner's closet there. This house has a very good use of space, I feel like. Nice shower, nice tile work. Interesting way to do a double vanity, but. Back in, this might give you a sense of the room. So this is again, that's looking west, and this is looking south. A lot of good sun to be had here. Right, I've come to the outside, the back deck kind of area. There's some homes around, but there's some buffer space as well. A lot of sun. A little storage shed, 